Hey, welcome back, everybody. Timothy Little, a.k.a. that NES, capital NES, fan, coming right back at you here today. And I've been very happy, been very pleased with the feedback that has been left on my recast video, recent recast video. It's got like nine thumbs up, only one down. One person didn't really care for it, but that's okay. Not everyone's going to like my stuff. That's the way it goes. That's YouTube, you know. But, uh, no, I've been very happy with uh, all the feedback you guys are leaving me. Uh, the only concern I have about that video, and this kind of goes to why I'm making this video, is about people not quite getting everything working on there. And what do I mean by the everything? Well, I mean the ROMs aren't working on there. And that's a problem. I mean, what's the point of an emulator if you can't get the stupid ROMs working, right? And rest assured, I've had this problem, and I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to do things properly so that you can avoid having a similar issue in the future in which the ROMs just you get a blank screen and you get spit out to the main menu. I hate that. I think everyone hates that uh, about any app, any Android app or iOS, whatever you, whatever app you use. You hate being spit out to the main menu and not having things work properly. So I'm definitely going to show you how to extract those .cdi files, which are the dream kit, the only files that the recast will recognize. As far as I know, that's all I use. Uh, so I'll go ahead and we'll, we'll walk you through how to do how to extract things properly, those CDI files properly, as well as how to get rid of those on-screen buttons. If you're using an, uh, an NVIDIA Shield or a, like a tablet in which you have a controller and you don't want to see the on-screen buttons, I can go ahead and show you how to get rid of those. It's a neat little trick I found on the interwebs uh, recently. So let's cut to my desktop. We got some cool stuff to show you guys. Let's go to the desktop right now. Okay, so here we are on the desktop, on my desktop, and I've just recently downloaded a recast file. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and extract it. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and open up my extraction software, and specifically I'm using 7-Zip. There's the folder. I have to extract that folder. There should be only one folder in inside of there that you have to extract. Go ahead, extract that folder to whatever directory of your choice. I just chose to go ahead and put it onto my desktop. It should take about 15 to 20 seconds or so. And after that's done extracting, you're going to want to go ahead, open that folder up, and you're going to want to, and you'll notice that there are a bunch of different parts, like part one, part two, part three, of uh, different zipped files, that is. You're going to want to go ahead and unzip part one specifically, because part one specifically has the .cdi file that you're looking for. Notice I'm going to open up my unzipped folder. Go ahead, right-click on part one. Make sure you open it up with your extraction software. Notice that there's the CDI file. Go ahead and extract that against the directory of your choice. I just chose desktop because it's easier for the, for the sake of this video. And this video, this file itself will take a little bit longer because it's the biggest one. It's most recast ROMs tend to be between 550 uh, megs, which is a very small recast file, and upwards to a gig. This one's right in the middle of approximately 700 megabytes. Go ahead, have a little bit of patience, about a minute for that to extract depending on your hard drive speed and there you go you've successfully extracted a recast ROM and it's good to go and it's good to work with the recast emulator and how do you know you successfully extracted it there are no errors that came up on the screen and the size matches the downloaded matches the unextracted size okay so let's go ahead and uh, show you another cool little trick here with the recast and that's going to be how to actually get rid of those pesky on-screen buttons right <laughs> especially if you have the Nvidia Shield Navigate. Step one is plug in the plug in your NVIDIA Shield to your computer and navigate to the root of the drive, aka internal storage folder, like you just saw me do there. Click on DC, and then there's a folder inside DC called Data. Go ahead, double click on Data, and go ahead and put in place in the Data folder a buttons.png file, essentially a blank. .png file. Where can you find a blank .png file with the resolution necessary to for recast? Well, I'll put a link in the description to that. So once you put that into your DC folder, you will have removed the buttons, the on-screen buttons. So there you have it, guys. I showed you how to get rid of those on-screen buttons, and more importantly, more importantly, how to properly extract your .cdi files. So hope this video helped helped you in your uh, in, in, in troubleshooting the ROMs not working for whatever reason on your NVIDIA Shield. Please go ahead and rate this video and favorite it if you enjoyed it. And I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description to where you can find me on Twitch TV. I'll be doing more Twitch TV broadcasts. I've only done a few to this point so far. Remember, I'm going to be broadcasting between anytime between 10 o'clock p.m. and like approximately 12.30 a.m. on 
probably weekends now, but although it depends, really any time during the week is fair game. So go ahead and watch those videos. Stay tuned for more of those. I hope you guys uh, enjoy those. Like I said, I've only done a couple of broadcasts, still trying to get everything worked out uh, in terms of optimizing video quality and stream quality based on my internet connection here at home. So, but please go ahead, feel free to follow me on that. I'll put a link in the description to that. I'm also playing Shadow Gun. I believe that my screen name is like Windy. I'll confirm this later. I think it's like Windy City T Bones or something like that. <laughs> I'll, I'll put more uh, details in the description in the description later on. But I, I love Shadow Gun. It's a great game. Highly recommend that. Go get that on the Android. That's another thing you're going to have to get as soon as you get your Shield or any Android, whether it be the new Samsung or, or anything. Shadow Gun is awesome. Rocks. That'll be all, guys. That NES fan signing off for now. Take care.